Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Bashem Yahashai, Bashem Kadash, double honors and salutations to the elders and apostles of goodness done to the Akim Akwaf, try the four corners of the earth, holding on in sincerity and in truth to the gospel of Lord of Mashak Yahashai in these days and times, is Rabbi Nasha DC Camp. Another brief lesson for the hopeful elect. Yeah, so this uh, conflict between uh, Esau and Ishmael is just another part of prophecy we have to be aware of. And, uh, you know, Esau just wants to lie. He can you know, he just wants to lie and uh, deceive the people. And that's exactly what the, the Lord mentioned that uh, the serpent shall do. The serpent's job is to uh, <laughs> to deceive the nations, all right? That's just what it is, all right? Yeah, and that's, that's just what uh, the Lord mentioned, you know, that was going to happen. When you read the book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse, uh, from verse 1 to verse 3, it tells you, how the Lord, you know, Hamashak Yahushai, you know, allowed uh, the serpent, the kingdom of Edom, all right, to uh, get a break from captivity and to deceive the whole world, all right. So Revelation chapter 20 verses 1 says, And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and the great chain in his hand all right and he laid hold on the dragon that old serpent which is the devil and satan and bound him a thousand years so that's the you know the lord hamashak yahushai you know putting the edomites into subjugation all right he had to depose them from their seats of authority in the Roman Empire, the Lord has to had to snatch the Roman Empire from their power of uh, authority, right? You know, plagues and infighting and the wars and economic situation, and the Lord had to let it happen. You know, the Lord allowed Jake to rise up through the ranks, and uh, yeah, that was just the downfall of Esau. And then uh, for a thousand years, you know, they got. Uh, subjugated to become servants all right and uh it was during the dark ages man that they began to uh get up and get up and get up and rise again you know and uh when you read uh, the history of the ottoman turks that was just uh, the beginning you know that was just uh, the beginning of them gaining momentum to uh conquer all right under the so-called banner of uh islam all right that's exactly what they did you know so they even had to use christianity too to uh cover their moves you know so that's just exactly how they operated all right and then it says um, and cast him into the bottomless pit that's europe all right and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled and after that he should be loosed a little season all right so it's just what it is man so this is just the result you know of the lord allowing the serpent all right to be loose a little season so that the world could be deceived and then the Lord has to uh, perform another operation. When you read Isaiah chapter 25, verse 7, it says, And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. All right. So we read in Revelation chapter 20, verse 3, that uh, the serpent shall deceive the nations. All right. And then Yahweh shy. Is also mentioning in Isaiah chapter twenty 
5 and 7 through his prophet Isaiah that uh, the covering cast over all the faces of the, over the minds of the people has to be removed and uh, it's coming it's coming to that uh, stage when the world will realize that uh, the deception is uh, so real and uh, you know it's going to cause a lot of tension and uh, the elites will have to step it up a notch to catch up so you see I'm I'm like <laughs> Malachite, you know, you pause in the, in the background there, just listen to the governor of Texas, you know, throwing his support behind uh, the state of Israel. So it just shows you, man, how far, you know, the, 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 the serpent is willing to go, you know, and uh, you have uh, you know, a lot of people just going along blindly, not knowing exactly what's happening. So this is just a uh, uh, a step towards World War Three. All right, the scripture talks about the list of the flock shall draw them out. So this is just what it is, you know. So, yeah, it's just a part of prophecy. And uh, when you have the real Israelites, so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans, just languishing in captivity, watching all this drama take place, and then it becomes a a foreign notion to them being uh, the children of the Lord, you know, you know, when you tell them they don't want to accept it, you know, they make it uh, difficult, you know, for, for to embrace their heritage. But hey, that's all fine, you know, the, the Lord is going to, you know, <laughs> have to convince them, you know, with some sore stroke. So we read uh, Jeremiah chapter... 9 verse 5 because uh, you know he's on you know this governor man he's on the payroll of the elites too you know he's on the payroll of the elites so you see he's playing his part in that so-called migrant uh, caravan crisis man you know he's busting them up <laughs> sending them not you know he's following instructions by the Amalekites because they are the ones that are responsible for all this uh, immigration crisis man you the ones you know allowing the borders to stay open and then you have all these border patrol agents just having all type of nervous breakdown not knowing what's going on but when uh, you know you bring out the truth all of a sudden you know you're the enemy you're branded as a uh, violent extremist a dominant domestic extremist for for exposing you know the the, the, the powers behind all these uh headaches at the border, you know, so, yeah, these are not people as pawns, you know, to uh, break down the power structure of these so-called middle-class Edomites, you know, and uh, it's going to get worse, you know, it's going to get worse, all right, so Jeremiah 9 and 5 says, uh, and they, you know what, yeah, just, just, let me just have verse 4, this, just what's going to add you know, more fuel to the fire among the Edomites. So take heed everyone to his neighbor, and trust ye not in any brother. For every brother will utterly supplant, and every neighbor will walk with slanders. So that's just what it is. That's how these uh, so-called political operatives, you know, that's how they, they move. They move at the, at the tune of the elites that pull the, the purses you know, that, that control the purse of Babylon, that control the, the, the corridors of power. So they have all these governors, mayors, and councilmen, presidents, senators, and congressmen in their back pocket. So what do you expect, you know? Yeah, so you're going to see that, uh, you know, the American people are going to have a, a violent uprising against the system of, uh, of betrayal. You know, because when you dig and go online, you see all the the documentaries about how all these special interest groups, they've uh, cornered the American political system. You know, that all these politicians, all they could do is just say, yes, sir, yes, man, yes, sir, yes, man. They spend more, more time, you know, looking for uh, donations, looking, you know, to have a fundraising so they could get reelected again. And then when they retire... When they leave office, they can go get a cushy job somewhere, you know, for being a, a puppet of the elites. So that's how uh, bad it is, man. You 
it's, 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 it's bad. You know, it's horrible. You know, that's why a lot of uh, these so-called folks in government, you know, these uh, law enforcement agents, they're scared, you know, to to uh, to go after this uh, corruption, man. You know, without uh, getting approval from the top, above the top. You know, so that's just what it is, man. You know, it's, they're just uh, scared, man. They see all the madness and corruption going on. They see all the files and all that stuff on a daily basis. But they can't do nothing. All they got to do is just, uh, you know, keep on typing away at a computer, you know, sign paperwork and just uh, watch and watch, just collect, you know, collect evidence. <laughs> you know, collecting evidence without acting on it until uh, the big boss want to make a move on their so-called, uh, you know, competitors. That's just what it is, man. You know, it's a big old scheme of uh, blackmail and intrigue, all right? So uh, I read again, Jeremiah 9 and 4, Take it, everyone, to his neighbor. Take ye heed, everyone, of his neighbor, and trust ye not in any brother. For every brother we utterly supplant, and every neighbor we walk with slander. So there's infighting among these Edomites, man. You know, so that's why in Second Ezra it talks about uh, a, it's going to be sedition among them. All right, verse five, and they will deceive everyone his neighbor. That's what they do on their campaign, you know, uh, trails. You know, when they go for their campaign events. Right, it's nothing but empty promises and deception, and they will deceive everyone, his neighbor, and will not speak the truth. So, hey, draining the swamp hasn't happened, you know. You're gonna uh, eliminate student debt, that never happened, you know. All that stuff, you know, it's just uh, an idea. And they want to put in people's heads and have the people hoping and hoping and hoping for change, but it's just going to get worse, all right? And then you have this uh, system of tyrannical oppression, all right, to keep the people at bay, have them worried about unnecessary uh, topics, all right? That's what the media does, all right? They have taught their tongues to speak lies, so they practice it, man. They have coaches that tell them how to spin the truth to deceive the people, all right, and worry themselves to commit iniquity. So they know how to uh, move money, man. They know how to mislead people. They know how to have paperwork to cover up their tracks, you know. And they have all these uh, shell companies and non-profit organizations and all these uh, super PAC, you know, that's uh, political action committees to have money for all that stuff that they want to do on the side. You know, private jets and private parties at resorts, you know. Yeah, drugs and the whole nine yards. So it's just uh, part of the journey, you know, that uh, the the prophets have to uh, observe. All right? So uh, it's just what it is, man. You know, it's just what it is. You know, I don't even feel like playing the video, but I just play it, man. So you can just uh, understand how messed up the American political system is it's not working for the regular Edomites. So you can imagine how bitter they are. All right, so I'll play this real quick. Meantime, Texas Governor Greg Abbott took two actions last night related to the ongoing Israel and Hamas war. At a solidarity gathering Monday night, the governor issued an executive order prohibiting state agencies from purchasing goods produced or exported from the Gaza Strip and from any organization or state actor with ties to Hamas. Governor Abbott also announced over $4 million of additional funding to provide enhanced... Yeah. So that's what it is. When you have um, uh, so-called Americans, you know, protesting and saying they don't want uh, to do business with any corporation that has uh, business uh, ties with the land of Israel, all of a sudden they're bland branded as uh, extremists. You know, they start asking people questions. Are you part of any organization that is... Uh, engage in the divestment movement from Israel, you know, that's how it is. Business and uh, investment, divestment, whatever you want to call it, you know, so they, they've cornered the educational system. <coughs> I 
And uh, that's what it is, man. You know, they've cut the educational system, they've cut the medical system, the financial system, even the uh, national security. You know, they've plugged themselves into those places. So expect uh, horrible things to happen, you know, just like 9-11. And uh, they're going to look for people to blame. So it's just part of the journey that uh, the prophets have to observe and one one the elect, you know, one the, the one, one the sheep, one the Israelites, you know, one the so called Negroes, so called Latinos and so called Native Americans that uh, we're living in evil times, man. The serpent has to create a a, a distraction and uh, you know, a false flag, you know, to mislead the people, to deceive the people and uh, conquer their minds and have their minds in, in uh in total subjugation, all right? So Micah 6 and 12 says this, For the rich men thereof are full of violence, all right? That's exactly how the rich always want to stay in power. They have to use violence, man. That's one of their best um, their best tools, violence, man. You know, when, when they start uh, unleashing that uh, vibration of violence upon the face of the earth, all of a sudden people start begging for ceasefire. <laughs> ceasefire, you know? And the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies and their tongue is deceitful in their mouths. Yeah, so all these Amalekites in this so-called uh, synagogue, man, they, you know, they're just going to be used as the cannon fodder. You know, they're just going to be thrown under the bus when all hell breaks loose. And that's how the... Uh, Elites of Edom operate, man. They throw their own people, you know, into the fire so that they can uh, achieve their goals, you know. So, hey, don't be surprised, man. You know, don't be surprised when horrible things happen and uh, you figure out that uh, they're just being used as, uh, as pawns to further the agenda of the elites of their nation, all right? So that's just what it is, man. That's just what it is. So you go to the book of Romans. Romans chapter 3. It's a good precept. You know, it's just a little bit long. Uh, read from verse 13. It says that their throat is an, it's an open sepulcher. All right, just like you have the, the false prophets and the, and the false leaders among our people. Yeah, you have those, that, that type of vibration among Edomites, man. Their job is to mislead their own people, you know, use them as puppets to do their daily work and then discard them to the side, all right? It says their truth is an open sepulcher. With their tongues, they have used deceit. The poison, the poison of asps is under their lips, all right? Whose mouth is full of crossing and bitterness, their feet are swift to shed blood, destruction and misery are in their ways, all right, the border of wickedness, remember that, and the way of peace have they not known, and here's the kicker, there is no fear of your how about Shima Shai before their eyes, yeah, so very soon, man, you know, the Lord will have to bring that fear upon them, yes, yeah, so all these, uh, false flags and all these uh, generated attacks that they keep on fomenting. This is just part of their plan to start World War Three, and then their goal is to uh, get rid of the elect of uh, Hamashiach Yavashai, you know, get rid of the 144,000 and one third. You know, as many Israelites as they can get their hands on is what, they, what they're really after. They want that birthright back at all costs, so they're willing to, you know, employ every tactic at any stage. So it's just what it is, you know. You just have to learn to pay attention to what these uh, Edomites are doing, especially the Amalekites, all right? And security for Jewish organizations such as synagogues and schools across the state. Aren't you weeping? You're weeping throughout Israel, but also all across Texas. Because of yeah, so that's just what it is, man. You know, when, the, when they know that the so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, and so-called Native Americans are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of, they still go along and push this lie and uh, deceive the people. 
And when the truth comes out, you know, you have this rebel like Edomite speaking the truth <laughs> about the Lord of Mashiach, about the identity of the real Israelites. All of a sudden, you know, uh, they're labeled as a Christian extremist and all that stuff. You know, doomsday cultists. Yeah, so it's just what it is, you know. You just have to learn to deal with the, the energy of falsehood that they keep on pushing. You know, you have all these uh, little serpents believing that uh, <laughs> they're the chosen people. Going to find out that uh, it's all a whole lie. And uh, yeah, they're going to have to bear the brunt of the of of their of their own doings, all right? So uh, Job chapter 5, verse 12 says, He disappointed the devices of the crafty, all right? The crafty serpent, all right? His tricks his gimmicks, his motives, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. All right? So the Lord is going to you know, inter interfere with their plans, with their goals, man. When the truth gains that super momentum, man, that's it for them, man. Isaiah 25 and 7, yeah, so, you know, the Lord is going to turn their plans upside down, all right? Verse 13 it says, uh, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. So they're going to fumble the bag, man. You know, they're going to fumble the bag that was meant to be fumbled. All right, because uh, the Lord did not give them that spiritual perfection to carry it all the way to the end. All right. <laughs> all they're going to have to deal with is just an idea, a shadow of their imagination that they think they have accomplished something. All right. And the counsel of the forward is carried headlong, so it's going to collapse, just like the, you know, the, the statue, you know, that um, Nebuchadnezzar had in his dream when the great millstone, you know, came smashing at the feet, the ten toes, all right? The, the, the stone did not go for the... He did not go for the head. He didn't go for the chest. He didn't go for the knees. He went for the... <laughs> he went for the legs, man. You know, went for the chop block, all that stuff. Yeah, so that's just what it is, man. That's how powerful the downfall of Edom is going to be. Verse 14 says, They meet in darkness in the daytime, and they group in the noonday as in the night. So they're always having secret meetings, man, closed door meetings to figure out what they're going to do next. They know what they want to achieve, but how they're going to do it is what they always uh, deliberate about, all right? So always remember that, man. They always want to have that uh, power, you know, to control their destiny. But the Lord didn't give them that power. The Lord did not give them that spirit of free will, all right? So they're going to figure out the hard way that the Lord had them in a trick bag. The Lord led down the path of their nature. You know, the serpent angelically, you know, ends up uh, going around in circles, man, without accomplishing much. All right? So that's just what it is, man. You know, the downfall is imminent, and uh, you just have to deal with it. So the horrific attack on Israel, which must be called what it is, it is an act of war to which Israel has the right of self-defense for which there is... So you said an act of war. So that means, hey, we're in a time of war, you know. So they're looking for war. So that's just what it is, man. You know, that, that the time is ticking, man. You know, the clock is ticking. The clock for them to... Uh, push their agenda is thickening, and uh, it's only a matter of time it's going to go full blown all right so we're just waiting patiently you know for the lord to give them the green light to start uh, their shenanigans and bring chaos upon the face of the earth and then the lord will take that chaos and turn it against them all right so job chapter 18 17 to 19 it says that his remembrance shall perish from the earth and it shall have no name in the street so there will be no more remembrance of Edom all right when the Lord has done away with them 
And uh, the scholars know that, man. Every scholar that has, you know, gone through the records of history, they know that the Lord is, is real. They have the records of uh, the most high supernatural uh, events upon the face of the earth. They know the prophets have always been correct, have always been right concerning what the will of the Lord is. And they know when they hear the words of prophecy, that means something is about to happen. So they know that uh, the falsehood is not going to hold any longer. And uh, war is the desperate attempt to uh, derail the prophet from uh, from speaking the truth on the highways and byways, you know, even on the internet. So they're going to have to clamp down hard and push that uh, idea of censorship. Right, so brother's video has been getting, uh, you know, taken down. Say, oh, medical misinformation, and all that stuff, hate speech, whatever they want to call it. But at the end of the day, man, it's just things we expect. You have to push this war, and when the war is about to be pushed hard, they're gonna have to silence uh, the voices of dissent. All right, yeah. So when you have that knock on your on, on your door saying, oh, you were busy protesting, you were busy trying to organize, I like, hope you're, you know, you're not planning any attack, we're just trying to make sure, you know, let the, you know, our supervisors know that we've made contact with you and all that stuff. Yeah, so that's how uh, messed up it is, man, you know. So, end of the day, man, it's going to be violent, you know, that's what we expect, you know, it's end of the day, they have to generate a, a false flag here on American soil to uh, clamp down on the so-called freedoms of the people, you know, and then they have to do whatever they got to do, you know, but as they want to release a biological weapon, a, 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 a nuke in a suitcase, whatever they want to do, poison the people, hey, it just has to happen, man. You know, we're not surprised. It's not the first time they've uh, performed things like that on American soil. So, yeah, the records speak for itself, all right? And then, uh, I read again, Job 18 and 17, His remembrance shall perish from the earth, and he shall have no name in the street. So that's how brutal the Lord is, man, to wipe away a whole nation, a whole nation of people, a nation of Edom, the nation of Esau, the so-called white man. You know, it's just what it is, man. These are words of prophecy, man, you know. Scripture says it shall not go well with Esau. All right. Verse 18 says, He shall be driven from light into darkness and chased out of the world. Yep. So that's just what it is, you know. There's, there's no other way I could think about it, but as the Lord has said. All right. So they know, man. You know, they, they, they you know, these uh, historians and all these scholars and all these. Uh, Rabbis, they read the Torah, the Tanakh, you know, they, they study, you know, they know that uh, Edom is in deep trouble. They know that, man, you know, that's why they always want to use their so-called uh, witchcraft to uh, mislead the people. But for how long, you know, for how long with that, with that spirit of uh, witchcraft, you know, be, be uh, effective when the Lord decides to uh shut it down all right so uh one more precept be from the book of isaiah chapter 14 verse 4 says that thou sh all right uh, da, 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 da. all right so this was going to happen that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of babylon all right so that's what it is with man the lord are gonna have to uh have the courage to speak up against the king of Babylon and say, How had your oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. Alright? The golden city ceased. Alright? So America is about to cease from existence, man. Alright? Scripture talks about, I just read in the book of Job, chapter 18, 17 to 19, that uh, he's going to be chased out of the world. Alright? You know, so that means. Uh, his power structure is over with, okay? And then verse 5 says, The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. See? So, 
the Lord has taken away the, their authority away from them. All right, so there'll be no more governor abbots, all these, uh, you know, uh, governor DeSantis or, or whatever, man, here in America, man, you know, whatever they want to call themselves, man. The whole American system is almost out of here, man. You know, it's heading down the drain, it's fading away, and uh, the elites want a new order, but the Lord's not going to allow them to accomplish it, okay? So that's why. You know, this chaos is happening. The Lord has to deceive them to think that they're going to use violence to establish the next leg of their goals. But uh, it's not going to happen, all right? They're going to have that idea that they've accomplished it, they're about to accomplish it, but uh, the Lord is going to just uh, hijack the whole operation. And that's where the angels come in, all right? Yes, when the Lord protects the elect, that's just what it is. That's going to frustrate Esau so bad, man. When the elect have that spiritual power, when their faith, you know, is intact all the way, you know, to the grave, and then they're still resurrected. Wow. You know, Esau is going to be so upset, man. You know, they're going to be so upset and pissed off. So that's just how beautiful. The Lord has set up these uh, elites, man. Set them up for failure, all right? So that's just what it is, man. You know, the Lord has already let them know that uh, they're not going to succeed. The Lord let them know ahead of time. That's why you have the scriptures, man. The scriptures that, that you know, is basically a message to them that they're not going to be able to accomplish what they have been seeking after for thousands of years. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 10, Thou hast consulted shame to thy house by cutting off many people and has sinned against thy soul. So the, 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 the history of uh, causing chaos and robbing the earth of resources, destroying the lives of people over the earth, including the so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans, it's just part of it, you know. Yeah. So, you know, the whole world, you know, will be looking down upon Edom, you know, in the very, very, very near future. Even now, you know, the whole world is pissed off at Esau, man, for all these chaotic events that uh, he's always in the, at the center of, all right? And then, uh, that's just where it is, man. You know, the destruction is coming. Verse 11 says, For the stone shall cry out of the wall, and the beam out of the timber shall answer it. So it's going to be horrible. You know, it's going to be horrible. So all these uh, mega structures, you know, all these uh, infrastructure, whatever they want to, you know, call it here in America, man, it's just going down the drain, man. Whether it's a D plus rating, C plus, whatever, the Lord is about to tear it down, man. Whatever they've built up, the Lord is going to tear down. So that's just what it is. You know, all their uh, all their plans for battles, and the Lord is just going to tear it apart. So uh, final precept will be from the book of Isaiah, Salakia. Book of Psalms. All right, book of Psalms, chapter 140. I'm going to read uh, verse 11. You know what? It's... Uh, yeah, the whole chapter is good. You know, verse 10 is good. All right. In fact, I read verse 10. Psalms 140, verse 10. Let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire, into deep pits, that they rise not up, that they rise up, that they rise not up again. All right. Psalms 140 and 10. Let burning coals fall upon them. All right. Let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire, into deep pits, that they rise not up again. Yes, yeah, so this is coming upon the, the, the you know the nation of Edom, man. You know, coming upon the face the nation of Edom. All right, when you read uh, Isaiah uh, fourteen and uh, twenty-one, that's a brutal. That's a brutal precept. Man. All right, let me just read it real quick, man. Isaiah 14 and 21, what does it say? 
Yeah, it says pre pre prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. All right, that's what it is, man. That's what it is. So that's how uh, brutal, you know, that the judgment of the Lord is upon these Edomites. That's how jacked up they're going to be, man. You know, the Lord is about to make a move on them, a uh, swift and destructive uh, demise awaits them. All right. And then verse 11 says, Psalms 140 and 11, Let not an evil speaker be established in the earth. All right. So when the puppet is echoing the sentiments of the elite, that means that, uh, hey, the Lord has to take away the puppets, man, and the puppet master. The Lord has to eliminate them. All right. Yeah. Psalms 140 and 11, Let not an evil speaker be established in the earth. And... All right, evil shall haunt the violent man to overthrow him. So the Lord of Masha Kiawashai has to uh, get a green light from the Heavenly Father Yahweh to hunt them from out of every rock, out of every you know location they've hid themselves, you know, so that they feel not the face of the earth with their cities man the lord is going to blot out their existence so that's how brutal the lord is man so it doesn't matter you know how hard they try to censor you know the truth you know it doesn't matter how many people they attack and kill and uh, try to uh intimidate it doesn't change anything it doesn't change that destiny it doesn't change their faith all right so the lord it's already set that part in motion, man. All right? So it's just the end of Edom, man. So no matter how much, uh, you know, uh, showtime they try to put on, man, it's not, it's not going to accomplish much. All right? So that was the point of Akim. You know, the, the, the lies and the deceit is going to end very soon. And uh, it's just uh, what the Lord does, man. You know, the lie has had its time, you know. It's had its end run around the earth. So it's now that truth shall prevail over falsehood. And uh, yeah, man, the times of mercy for, for the elect is at hand. And uh, yeah, you're going to see what the Lord is going to do in these last days and times. And you're going to see the destruction the Lord will bring. And you're also going to see the salvation is not also going to bring. So, you know, you be a, you know, you be the judge, man. When you see the salvation and the destruction, then you realize that, uh, you know, Esau is just a paperweight, man, when you, when, you, when you compare to what the Lord is about to do. So, Abaratiza, you've been edified by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Kadash. You just got to wait patiently. You know, things move slowly. But when they move, they, you know, it has a significant uh, meaning to it. So, just uh, hold on and be steadfast in the Lord. Shalom.